we have here. Uh, uh, what was that? How oh, that Twilight movie? I know uh, Josh Terry 22 was saying that. That at least we get some damn good vampire movies at uh, Walmart now or something like because that Twilight. And he was right. I, I was wanting to get this one forever. Five bucks for Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter. Haven't seen it. Hammer movie. It looks a lot of fun. I guess it was supposed to be a bigger series, but you know, shit happened. Next one here is uh, the VCI release of Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. I had a Diamond Edition. You know, no one really likes Diamond. Everyone hates Diamond. But this is one of Bob Clark's earlier films. Uh, you guys know who Bob Clark is. He did uh, Death Dream, Porky's, uh, Christmas Story, and uh, what is that? Black Christmas. My favorite is Death Dream. But this one's pretty wacky. This movie is just so weird. It's just a strange film. Like, strange zombie film. It's worth a look, but it's very weird. And the dialogue to me... It's just out of this world. And here we go. Another one I picked up really cheap, The Orphanage. I figured, why the hell not? Uh, uh, the only ghost stories I do care for are usually Spanish ones, Devil's Backbone. But So I picked this one up, haven't watched it yet. Next one is Brotherhood of Blood with Ken Forey and Sid Haig. Now, I tried to watch this, and I fell asleep. I knew it looked bad in the commercial, and I knew it was going to be bad when the critics, all the critics says on there is Hag and Forty together again. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Okay. That's all they say about it. Hag and Forty together again. It's like, no, not not a great movie. It's just like Hag and Forty together again. It's like, yeah, I could tell by the freaking case. But uh, this is the second Ghost House Underground movie I've seen, or partially seen. I like Dance of the Dead, or Dance Hall of the Dead, or whatever it was, but that one I did not care for. Dance Hall of the Dead is a different story. This one, other one I picked up really cheap, buck, two couple bucks. Uh, I've not watched it. It's like an Asian little set thing here. It was really cheap. It comes with four movies. Couldn't pass it up. You know, I had to get it. Uh, it comes with stuff I can't pronounce. So, I'll just show you guys it. Instead of making myself look like a bigger jackass than I already am. There we go. Nice set for two bucks, you know. Slim cases in there. Then this other one I had on Diamond DVD, but who likes Diamond, like I said? I picked up the lead edition of Mutant. You know what? When I watched the Diamond DVD, I thought it was just mediocre. It wasn't that great, but hell, it just probably, just probably cut the shit and I probably couldn't tell what was going on. So I picked up this one for, I think it was like $4 with shipping. So Next one here was 3 bucks at Big Lots. It's uh, Vampire Hunter. Hunters or whatever, I don't know. Maybe it's like a take on uh, Vampires by John Carpenter. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe it looks worth three bucks. The next one here, I had the VHS for a long time. Uh, it's a Larry Clark movie that is completely not like his other work. It's not like Bully or Kids, but this is uh, Teenage Caveman. This movie is pretty bad. Ooh, the phone's ringing. Guess who's not answering that? But, uh, oh, looks like I'm going to have to. Anyways, Teenage Caveman is not that great of a movie, but it is somewhat of a guilty pleasure. The least they could do is answer the phone upstairs for me. Uh, sorry about that. Another distraction. It's like everyone's distracting me at once, but I don't really give a shit. And I don't care if you give a shit. I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, the next three, uh, it was one of the last street show collections I needed. And I was just talking about Very Crudely Yours on the internet about uh, ordering it. And he was like, I never order used stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I do sometimes. Who cares? What? So I ordered this used, okay? It bit me in the ass. But I ordered the Vampire Triple Feature Shriek Show Edition. I took it out of the box because the box was like somebody pooped on it and it smelled as if it too. But I ordered it, the Vampire Collection. It has two Gene Rollin flicks in it. And it came. And the, the cardboard box that was holding the stuff was all mingled. And it smelled like poop. I kid you not, the box smelled like dead cat or something. So I was like, okay, I'm switching these out immediately. But here's the films. Uh, the Fiancé of Dracula. I've never seen it. It's the Gene Rowland one. Looks all right. Build up my Shriek Show collection. Build up my Gene Rowland collection. I'll have to get those uh, new re-releases of like Lips of Blood and Requiem for a Vampire and stuff. I want to see those. This one, another, I believe, is another Gene Rowland. Two Orphan Vampires. I don't know if... I'd really uh, like Mad Puppet Death to come out here and, you know, give me some scouts on these and see how crappy they are, because she, she would know, I know she would know if these are bad or good or not. Uh, I know she she knows quite a, I have, my guess is she has quite a bit Gene Rowland flick, so. This other one is the Central Plains uh, Drifter, aka Graveyard Drift. I always remember uh, 
seeing this one next to Graveyard Shift by Stephen King and wondering what it is, and I was like, no, nah, I don't want that one. I want the one with the giant rat. Yeah, I was a weird kid. But anyways, I've never seen this one. Uh, it doesn't look too good, but that's that. What do you want, right? Uh. Alright. Coming towards the home stretch, some pretty bad movies here. Three bucks, big lots, never seen. Money lives. Mummy lives. But, you know, yep, yeah, that's Tony Curtis on the front. You know it's bad when Tony Curtis is in it and he's old. Except for that movie Immortals. But there's another one, Dimension Extreme, picked up. Pretty cheap. I just kind of like, I, I saw the commercial like this. Looked like it was bored me to tears. It is The Killing Gene. I picked it up because I have quite a bit of the uh, Dimension Extreme. Oh, good thing that was a piece of crap. This movie, I was kind of like coerced by my friends because they couldn't stop laughing at it to get it. It was like $2. It is Mexican Werewolf in Texas. Oh, it's an unrated director's cut. As if they probably didn't even shoot enough footage to keep it in. They just added all the footage in they had. I don't know. I shouldn't make fun of the movie. It looks a lot of fun, so there we go. This other one looked absolutely hilarious. Blood Gnome, same thing. My friends were like, you gotta get this. And I could not stop laughing at those little gnomes on the back, so... Yeah, got blood gnomes. Oh, uh, the last one right here is a big lots buy. It is Brainstorm. It's more of a sci-fi flick. Christopher Walken. I love Chris Walken, so picked it up. I thought maybe this would be a good double feature with Mind Snatchers. Never seen Mind Snatchers either with Walken from the 70s. So I thought those two would be really fun to watch. That is the end of my horror movies that I have. I'll, I'll show my other ones if you guys want right now. If you don't want to watch them because you don't like really, don't want, just want to watch the horror stuff, go ahead and tune out. So Next one here is... Hardcore with George C. E. Scott, three bucks, big lots. I watched this movie actually a couple times right when I got it. I was, I really liked it. It's about a basically conservative guy, a conservative, God-fearing man. His daughter ditches him, leaves him, uh, goes to L.A., becomes a porn star. He goes and tries to find her, goes undercover. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. A lot of sleazy stuff. It's a good movie though too. It's not sleazy for the fact, sake of being sleazy, but it's still good. Uh, this one, three bucks, relentless, three dollars. It's about like a serial killer. I've never seen this one, but I have three and four for some reason on a double feature thing. So I thought, boom, why not get one? Uh, I haven't seen it. it has a uh, Judd Nelson, Robert Loggy, or whatever you say, it, and uh, Leo Rossi. So it seems like fun. And who did this one? William Lustig did this one. If you guys are familiar with William Lustig, he did Maniac Cop and Maniac and Uncle Sam and Hit List. So I imagine that that one is going to be pretty uh, gritty. Next one here, three bucks for Fingers. I've seen this movie, James Tolback, uh, Harvey Keitel is in it. I always, I was a huge Harvey Keitel fan. He's like this like mobster guy who collects and he also plays piano, you know. It's kind of like that kind of story. I've seen it, it's been a while, but I really do like Harvey Keitel and this movie is pretty decent, so. I see Danielle Fellows in the back and Jim Brown and Tisa Faro and Michael Gazzo. So that's a good cast, it's a good solid mobster movie cast. Next one is a Stanley Kubrick film I've never seen, three bucks, eyes wide shut. I wanted to kind of get it to kind of complete a little bit more, see more Kubrick. Haven't seen it. Next one here is a classic I loved as a kid, Willow. Uh, it's been forever since I've seen Willow, but I remember liking Willow a lot. My brother liked Willow a lot. Warwick Davis is in there, Val Kilmer. Uh, next one here is Harry and the Hendersons, another kid childhood favorite. Uh, Harry and the Hendersons, I actually rewatched this, and it's not as good as when I was a kid, but it's still fun. It's still fun. I, It's a type of movie I would like to show to my kids or something. They would enjoy it. That's a good kids movie. Good, A, a decent family movie, Good, great kids movie. Let's put it that way. A family, a grown man would get through with it, have a couple laughs. This other one was a gift for someone else, but they really didn't want it. It's Waking the Dead, not sure what it is. Looks like a love drama type thing, so that's my last one. It looks pretty decent, though. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good one. Bye. Yeah.